I saw on the menu the oyster... Oysters Cortello. It's an invented dish for our restaurant. The Cortellos is Daryl and Ellen, so they made they made it up. So the owners have named an oyster after them? Yes, they have. You bought the restaurant, now you want your name on the menu. Yes. Sounds like someone's struggling for power. Uh, I've got to try one. OK. Yeah. And I must have some boiled shrimp. Boiled shrimp. And what specials do you have, my darling? We have a chicken fried steak today. Let's go for it. We do have also traditional bread pudding. Let's go for that. And I think we're done. OK. Thank you. Look what I got. All right, here we go. When Daryl got here, he kind of implemented his own menu. It really gets frustrating because Daryl really has no idea, culinary-wise, what he's doing. Candace, you ready? I'm going to take out the boiled shrimp to him. Chef Ramsay is going to love this food. It's simple food, it's basic food, it's feel-good food, but it's done very well and fresh. OK. Boiled mm. shrimp. Thanks, Tony. My first Louisiana shrimp. Yeah, everything's soft. They should peel easily and sort of pop out the shell, but I'm struggling to peel them. Mm. I mean, that is nasty. What I'm struggling for here is the lack of freshness. They feel and taste slightly mushy, which is a big disappointment. Candice, were the shrimps fresh? They're fresh frozen. They're fresh frozen. frozen. I know it's kind of an oxymoron. But you can buy fresh shrimp yes. within a mile from Yes, there. yes. The frozen shrimp tastes like shit. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> He wanted to know why we would get frozen shrimp when you can go to, like, the market and get them fresh every day. It's not uncommon to have frozen shrimp because some things are OK frozen. How we look on the oysters? Coming right now. All right. Wow, that back wall is hideous. What a mess. You got two seconds, please? Yes. And what's with the, uh, the swamp decor? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Um, mine and my husband's. To eat in a swamp? For children or for adults? For both. For both. For both. Oysters Cortello. That's my worst thing. Right, here we go. OK, thank you. All right. What the hell is that? These are the Oysters Cortello. Oysters Cortello. So I suppose you go like that. Wow, they're dreadful. Oysters named after the owner. I certainly wouldn't put my name on that. I wouldn't even put my enemy's name on that. Take it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. That's depressing, isn't it? No. Just terrible. Oysters Cortello, I don't know what to say about that. I eat them myself. I think they're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Now, what do you say? Oysters Cortello just ain't working. This is killing me not to know what he's saying. This is the fried chicken steak, right? Correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Bland as anything. No seasoning, no care. Look at that. Ugh. Candice, what the hell is that? It looks like it's just had a giraffe's tongue cut out and deep fat fried. People complain that the quality of the food here is horrible. Unbelievable. Daryl's not listening to the feedback that he gets and he's going to do what he wants to do. Daryl. Yep. He said that it looks like somebody cut out a giraffe's tongue, battered and fried it. I'm not going to agree with that. It didn't look that way to me. I mean, that's what normally goes out. It's a good product. So it looked like we cut out a giraffe's tongue. Wow, wow, wow. Jesus. Thanks, Tony. Doesn't look fantastic. But it tastes delicious. Who made that? Emil it makes it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just so happy that Chef Ramsey likes the bread pudding. It feels great to end on a good note. Love the bread pudding. You like the bread pudding? There we go. Loved it. I took full responsibility for bread pudding. That is all me. Daryl doesn't really have influence on that. Thank God. Thank God he likes something I did. I'll take that any day. But there was one person that did step up and helped in a big way to turn things around. Kioni. Kioni. Oh, backwards. You're in denial. Well, um, I'm not in denial, because I, I'm not in denial. 